So I'm going to tell you right now, this is a really controversial topic, but it's a real topic. It's real. It's true. Some people are going to agree with me. Some people are going to disagree with me, but. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea. Here on Honestly Chelsea, I pride myself on being very transparent with my audience and discussing topics relating to navigating life after college and just things that you experience as a young adult. So, so happy that you are here. And today we're going to be discussing a controversial topic, I guess you would say, called code switching. What is code switching? Hmm. According to the dictionary and what's written in my handy dandy notepad, code switching is the practice of alternating between two or more languages or varieties of language in conversation. So in other words, it's having a conversation with a specific group, a specific population, and then switching the way you speak or maybe interact with that group or that specific type of person based on the environment and just any other external factors that comes into play. So for me, I have Caribbean parents and that has a huge influence in how I communicate myself and interact with people on a daily basis, right? For example, this pendant on my necklace is a huge part of my cultural identity, right? This is how I, you know, display that I am, yes, I am American, but at the same time, I'm not, right? So my, my roots go back to a different country. It's part of my identity. My hair, that can also be a way of me um, presenting myself to someone, right? Now, so if I'm speaking to my family or my work peers, my friends even, I code switch. And I guarantee this is something that a lot of people do. Actually, a lot of people of color tend to code switch, and I'll tell you why. We are placed in an environment where a lot of our peers or our work peers, our work environment tends to be of a specific type of color, right? And so when that's predominantly presented to you, you tend to want to effectively communicate in a way that that is easy for them to understand, right? Easy for them to interpret. And so then you then literally start to code switch, like subconsciously, you begin to code switch. I code switch with my family. I code switch with my friends. I code switch with my work peers, right? And I'll tell you why. So for example, with my parents being Caribbean, I find myself coming into my house and I can easily switch up my accent and start speaking to my mom just like this or I start talking to my dad just like this, having a simple conversation with them just like this. They can understand that dialect, right? When I'm in a situation where I'm presented with um, co-workers, especially co-workers that are not of my color, I tend to communicate in a way that is easily interpreted to them. Now, here's the question that I would like to present to you guys. And I want you to leave some comments below giving me your point of view of what you of what you think code switching is. Do you think code switching is a form of selling out yourself? Like, you know, pretty much like selling out your cultural identity and not owning who you are as an individual? Or do you believe that it's possibly a, a survival tactic? So for me personally, I think it's a survival tactic just because, you know, we do it all the time. Like everyone code switches. A lot of people of color tend to code switch naturally, just on a natural basis, because of the external factors that present themselves, right? So for the most part, stepping into a workplace, it's predominantly white or it's predominantly black, whatever the case is. Now, code switching is not restricted to just one race, one nationality, no. Ethnicity is not restricted to one race, however, Black people tend to code switch a lot simply because of the environment that they're in. So I'll give you an example. For me, I, in my work environment, I am constantly um, the very few of color on the team, right? And I know a lot of my black folks can relate to that, right? So it's typically just me. As being the minority of that group in those situations, you know, we tend to code switch because we want to effectively communicate in a way where it's being interpreted, it's easily understood. But at the same time, are we selling out ourselves? No, I personally don't think that I'm selling out myself simply because I'm big on 
embracing my cultural identity. I'm big on expressing like, you know, this is where I come from and this is who I am. The other day I had to introduce myself to um, some new people that I'd be working with and, you know, we had some slides and that was one of the first things that I put on my slide was, you know, Trinidad big and bold, like, this is where my parents are from, you know, which means this has a huge influence on me. Even to this day when I'm speaking and I'm just speaking regularly with my friends or my coworkers, my you know, whoever the case may be, my parents, my accent comes out just just subtly, like it comes out in, in little ways. I've had conversations before with like friends and you know, they would correct me with things that I'm saying because of how it's being communicated, right? So these are all things that are ingrained in me as a person, it's instilled in me as a person, and it's not something that I want to get rid of. But at the same time, I think in order for me to be respected even, um, or in order for me to be understood, especially when it comes to my work field, like in my work area, my workspace, um, the workplace, you know, I have to communicate a certain way so that I am understood, point blank period. And I think code switching is a survival tactic in a way. So I'm going to tell you right now, this is a really controversial topic, but it's a real topic. It's real. It's true. Some people are going to agree with me. Some people are going to disagree with me. But I know this is something that I want to bring to my platform because I am a woman of color. I'm an African-American woman and I relate to a lot of these things, right? And so code switching to me, it is a survival tactic because I feel as though um, it influences how I engage with people, right? And that engagement piece is a big piece of being respected, right? So moving up in the corporate world, you know, having conversations with people and being able to really um, create a relationship just based on the way that you're communicating effectively has a huge significant influence on, you know, your placements or your positions or your, your role changes. Right, it plays a crucial role, and so for me, code switching is definitely um, something that I do regularly. Like I said, when I come into my house, you know, my accent instantly changes. It could change. It could, I could keep it. I can just continue speaking how I'm speaking, or you know, I could kind of just start talking to my mom, and it's like a whole different thing, right? So, and I almost think that it's something that we don't recognize that we do because it's such a natural thing. I started code switching at a very young age. Um, I honestly believe that I learned from just observing my mom having conversations on the phone with friends or co-workers and obviously they were not from Trinidad so it was natural for her to kind of just like code switch and meet them where they were like communicate in a way that they could understand and so I definitely understood the significance of code switching at an early age. I think I developed it more once I graduated high school um, because I left a population that was more so reflect was a reflection of like me and um, I went into another population um, in college that was like different races, different groups, different groups of people and so obviously I had to meet them where they were at. So I don't feel as though with me code switching, like that has improved, that has given me a leg up in any way, simply because, like I said before, this is something that we all do subconsciously. We do it, we just do it. And I truly believe that it is a survival tactic. Like, if we were not to switch up and like meet people where they're at, how would we be perceived? Right? Like, is that person gonna? Fully trust you to be like oh yeah I can work with her like or um, I think that she's a good resource and she brings something unique to my team or let's say if you were in the in the clinical setting and you're a doctor um, and you have two patients one is a one is black one is white like you literally have to meet that person where they are which is why we need more representation in these roles because you know it comes down to a lack of trust when you're not connecting with your with your clinician you don't you don't connect with them therefore you don't feel comfortable with receiving any type of treatment from these people just because there's a lack of trust there right and so, so code switching is such a intricate and integral part of your life that 
you know, we just don't even know that we're doing it, but it's very much so significant at the same time. So let me guys know what you think in the comments below, whether you think code switching is a way of selling out yourself or it's actually a survival tactic.